Hello everybody, I am the Mighty Plantain and I am checking out some chips tonight. Now, um, I was told that I should really look for the Humpty Dumpty ketchup flavored chips. I couldn't find them. I did find Humpty Dumpty's dill pickle flavored chips. Two bucks a bag. Not bad. Humpty Dumpty chips. Available in New England. Always at a decent price. But, um... I got to thinking, I've done I've done several of their products lately. I've never had anything for the rest of the country to really compare them to. That's not going to stand up on its own. Sorry. So, this one time, I actually found Lay's has a dill pickle flavored chip as well. Which is unusual. I mean... Normally I find something from Humpty Dumpty that doesn't have an equivalent in another national brand. So this time around I'm going to put these guys head to head, check them out, let you know what I think about both of them. Hey, home field advantage, we're going to give Humpty Dumpty the first try. It smells like a pickle and a potato. It's basically an exceptionally salty chip flavored with dill. And let's be honest, pickles are just cucumbers. The only reason they're pickles is because they're really salty and then we throw some dill in there. That's what actually gives them their flavor. I'm just taking a quick peek here. That's interesting. It's basically what you'd expect to find in a chip. Potatoes, canola, and or sunflower oil, corn maltodextrin, contain 2% or less of salt, sodium diacetate, monosodium glutamate, garlic powder, spices, and dehydrated parsley. So really, there's not a whole lot in here providing the flavoring other than that salt. And they say spices, which is basically dill, let's be honest. Well, it's just a plain old potato chip, but it tastes a lot like a pickle. It's not bad. I like it, but I like dill pickles too. So let's take a look at the dill pickle flavored glaze. Same thing. Potatoes, vegetable oil, sunflower corn, and or canola oil. Oh wait, dill pickle seasoning, which includes maltodextrin, natural flavors, salt, vinegar, garlic powder, yeast extract, and spice extracts, including dill. So basically, they're saying spice extracts, including dill. Salt, vinegar, which is not, there's no vinegar listed here. Garlic powder and yeast extract. So vinegar and yeast extract are really the only real big differences here. Everything else looks pretty much the same. For those of you who are into that, though, the uh, Lay's does have a longer ingredient list. Getting a lot more potato aroma off of that than I am the dill pickle like I was with the Humpty Dumpty.
and significantly less of that dill pickle flavor. Honestly, at two bucks a bag over here for seven ounces, and three fifty a bag here for seven and what three quarter, seven and three quarter ounces. My money's on the Humpty Dumpty, and they both got that dill pickle flavor mixed with potato chip, which is a weird combination, but not off-putting. It's actually decent, but there's significantly more of that flavor over here. This tastes like a potato chip with a little bit of dill pickle. This tastes like a 50-50 even mix of the two. So depending on what you're looking for, personally my money is on the Humpty Dumpty. Call it brand loyalty or regional bias. I just think it's better. But hey, you might prefer the Lay's. Hit me up down in the comments and the email link down below. Let me know what you think. If you've tried either or and both, I'd like to hear what you have to say. Until next time, folks, thanks for checking in. Back on. Now, a little while back, we did a bit of a comparison with the uh, Not Your Father's Car Jeep review. Thanks for having me. Well, thanks for the beer, man. So, highly recommended by you. Extreme Beer Fest this weekend. We'll be able to get a hold of, I believe it's the American.